morning. Respected HOD Professor A.K. Chaturvedi sir, my seminar guide D.P. Sharma sir, faculty members and all my dear friends. I am Rahul Patsala, final year B.Tech, mechanical engineering student from University Department, Dastan Technical University, Kota. Today I am pleased to be here in front of you all to deliver the presentation of my seminar topic, Flying Cars Technology. This is an overview, but I will be presenting you in this topic. What is flying car? Flying car, roadable aircraft, dual mode vehicle are all purpose vehicles that can fly like an airplane and drive on the highway like an automobile. Flying cars are something that is slowly becoming a reality. This isn't a dream for the future, it's the reality now. Can anyone name this car? This one? This was in the news recently. Okay, no problem. We will get to know about it in the coming slides. People had started experiment on making of flying car about 100 years ago. In the year 1917, first attempt was made to build a flying car or perhaps a roadable aeroplane. It was named autoplane. This was built by Glenn Curtis. It was given the title Limousine of the Year. It had a four blade pusher propeller for flight with a removable flight surface including a triplane wing, canard four plane, and twin tails. When it was tested, it was able to hop but could not fly. After this, we get to 1933 when the US Air Commerce Bureau conducted a competition called the Fleaver Competition. Many models were made. Out of that, one of the models was the Aerobike. It was designed by Waldo Waterman. This was an aeroplane that looked like a car that actually could take flight. The aeroplane was a tailless aircraft on the ground and in, in the air it was powered by Strut Baker engine. It could fly at 112 miles per hour and drive at 56 miles per hour. It never went into production because they don't get enough funds to produce it. But the first proper successful attempt took place in 1945. When the American inventor Robert Edison Fulton built an aeroplane called the Air Fever. Instead of adapting a car for the flying, Fulton adapted a plane for the road. The wings and tail section of plane could be removed to accommodate road travel and the propeller could be stored inside the plane's fuselage. It took only 5 minutes to convert plane into a car. The Air Fever was the first flying car to be certified by the Civil Aviation Authority. It had a 150 horsepower 6 cylinder engine and could fly 120 miles per hour and drive at 50 miles per hour. Despite the success, Fulton couldn't invest investors for the Air Fever. In the year 1949, Aero Car was designed by Moulton Taylor. It decided to work on the design of Air Fever and to make the wings of Air Fever foldable so that when it has to use as a car, the wings can be folded and closed behind the car. Taylor also put the propeller on back of the car so it did not have to be removed from moving on road. It takes 5 minutes to get converted into plane from a car. They got the certification, they also get approval for mass production but there weren't enough people interested in it and deal has to be cancelled. In the June 2021, Slovakian company Klein Vision presented a two-seat flying car named Klein Vision Air Car, designed by Professor Stephen Klein. For the first time, it seems like a proper flying car has, has come because it had completed intercity flight of 80 kilometers for 35 minutes between two international airports in Slovakia. The air car used a BMW car as a base and have wings attached to it. These wings are foldable and automatically comes out of the car and also gets inside it. A pr pusher propeller is permanently installed. It takes 2 minutes 15 seconds to transfer from aeroplane to a car. It is provided with 1.6 litre BMW engine and runs on regular petrol pump fuel and delivers power of 139 horsepower. In January 22, Slovak Transport Authority gives airworthiness certificate for takeoff. It has completed 70 hours of flight testing and more than 200 takeoffs and landings that meets European Aviation Safety Agency standards. Now we see the design. A flying car must be capable of safe and reliable operation both on public roads and in the air. Flying car should be equipped with rotary wings or vertical fans to achieve vertical takeoff and landing. 
while fixed foldable wings are required for horizontal takeoff and landing. Vertical takeoff and landing mode is a good choice as it avoids the need for a runway and greatly increases operational flexibility. Some examples are shown here. For a given flying car, an aero engine must be delivered higher power than its road equivalent. However, on the road, the vehicle must handle well and not be overpowered. Power is delivered between the airborne and road drive mechanism through multiple engines and internal combustion engines. On the road, most of flying cars drive the road wheels in conventional way. In here, to obtain forward thrust, one or more propellers of ducted fans are used. A practical flying car must be both strong enough to pass road safety standards and light enough to fly. The person controlling the vehicle must also be licensed as both driver and pilot. The lift and propulsion systems must be quiet enough not to cause excessive noise pollution. Green battery technologies with higher energy density, large cycle life and low cost are necessary when designing the flying cars. What needs to be done in future? We need to ensure appropriate tracking systems for flying cars so that they do not enter inside the region of security concern. We need to establish appropriate policies to minimize the potential impact of accidents on both occupants of flying cars and people on the road. On ground, the higher the weight of an object or higher the speed of a heavy object, the more dangerous the impact will be if it drops on people or on the roof of a building. When flying cars have opportunity to fly across the international borders without having been checked by any officer, the illegal trafficking of goods and services takes place. So we need to ensure adequate law enforcement systems to control misuse of technology. When emergencies such as crashes occur, search and rescue operations can be carried out to help injured people and crash vehicle once the alarm has been raised. We need to establish cyber security protection so that security system can quickly identify data breach and prevent hacking. Now we see the application of flying cars. It is an emergency car that will be used as an ambulance. It would be a good police car to caught robbers. It can be used as a personal car. It would be used in light combat operations. It would be used in transport of goods. It would be used as emergency car in case of any natural calamity. Now let's look at some advantages of flying cars. It minimizes traffic pollution as most of the time they operate in air so the toxic gases released by land-based vehicles can be minimized. It lowers emissions over certainly over certain distances. For a trip less than 100 km, a fully charged flying car with 4 people inside had 52% lower greenhouse gas emissions than the average ground-based gasoline-powered vehicle. It covers some same distance in less time as covered by normal cars. It frees up the city roads for pedestrians and cyclists. It uses the same ground infrastructure that had already existed for takeoff and landing. So government can save investment in ground infrastructure. Now we look at some disadvantages. They can't carry many passengers compared to other public transport. This mode of transport is expensive as one flying car cost is in millions which a common man can't afford. It will cause more noise pollution. They are hard to drive in bad weather conditions. So here are some references. Okay, I have completed my topic. Anybody having any query or doubt can ask. Now I will be happy to answer. Uh, I have a question. How will flying cars change our lives? Okay. Since there will be a fewer cars on the road, congestion will ease and roads in general should become easier. Fewer cars and more space could mean a re imaging of cities, spaces and rise in parks and communities. Uh, one more question. Where is, where is India in flying car technology? 
Vinata Aero Mobility is a flying car which is under development in India. It is fully automatic hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It has 8 electric motors, 4 for propellers and 4 for ground wheels. And it uses lithium ion batteries for hybrid electric power source. It has a capacity of 2 passengers and in here it can travel up to 100 km with 120 km per hour of speed. Thank you.